another episode of our Irish run and until this point I would say that things progressed nicely meaning that uh, we managed to take control of Wales uh, and we also started to extend in the territory of Ireland and just as a reminder the final goal of this run is exactly this to make sure that all the kingdoms in Ireland are united under one single flag um, so I would say that until this point things went in the right direction but we also have to pay attention because uh, there are a few things that might create issues in the short run. For example uh, we have a not very good relationship with Scotland right now so we will have to continue improving the relationship there before this completely degenerates. Then we also have a problem in Wales because actually the Welsh people they would rather be uh, governed by the English people what we will also need to um, pay attention to is also the relationship with, uh, with the clergy and we will have to try improving the relationship with them. Let's load the last save game and let's see how we can actually manage this potential threat. So as we said Scotland, the Welsh people and the church. We still have in our dungeon the rebel leader. In the previous episode we have some rebels spawning in our kingdom and we managed to defeat them and to capture their leader. Let's just execute. Our crown authority has increased. Our opinion with the peasantry has taken a hit. Okay, it slightly decreased the peasantry opinion but at least it didn't affect further the clergy opinion so I think it was in the hand the right decision there. Let's take a look at the stability of our provinces. So here in Ulster we have minus 10, in Dublin we have plus 20 and in Wales we have plus 9 so probably it would be convenient to build uh, here in Ulster to try to increase the happiness of our people I would say for example we could use uh, the goal we have to have brothels and then this uh, will also increase the gold in town and plus 1 of happiness, let's do it and in all of this King Leo is already old, he didn't manage to get married because there were no available wives uh, in the, the proximity of our kingdom and uh, because of that we basically have no heir but on the other hand uh, there are several brothers of King Leo who could succeed so we will see what happens uh, upon the next succession, I'm curious to see but I will imagine that then one of his brothers uh, will take control of the kingdom uh, so I'm not too concerned right now and Pope Lucius I uh, died, so now we have instead Cardinal Electo Sodos of Hungary, now known as uh, Pope Sigius uh, I. This is the third Pope since uh, the start of this run. Our kingdom is the most respected, this is of course something that is nice to see, but of course it will change in the future as soon as we will continue to expand in Ireland. So it's not meant to last forever, but for the moment we just enjoy this popularity and as soon as I will reach 400 books I will use this to create a new tradition ah and in all of this the Pope wants a lot of gold from us so this is the new Pope what a glorious day my child we are preparing a crusade that will see our names recorded forever in history as the saviors of Christianity and you have the honor to support it. 1,500 units of gold are expected as soon as possible. This will allow us to increase the relationship with the clergy and we will go to zero, which is great. Basically, we will uh, recover from the damages we have done in the previous episode, declaring war to another Catholic ruler. But of course, it's a bad hit for our treasury, but let's do it. Clergy applauds our recent action. And now I will need to spend some time not only to get the books but also to get the gold for the next uh, for the next tradition to be unlocked. And in all of this the non-aggression pact with England is now over because uh, I think there was probably yes a new king. So we can try to go here. I thought it would have been an easier confirmation, the one from England, to continue our non-aggression pact. On the other hand, it seems that the new king, King Leonard, is now using the argument that uh, our Welsh province uh, would rather be under England than uh, with us. And they're basically asking us to give them the control of the entire province. Um, 
in order to make sure that then there is the non-aggression pact. I will unfortunately refuse. And in all of this, our diplomat increased the relationship with Scotland, which means that now it goes to 61. So now it's a positive relationship again. Um, at this point, maybe I will ask the diplomat to start focusing on our vassal, because now this is the only negative opinion. We also have the opportunity to send uh, the king to, to Rome. Uh, let me think, I will leave it uh, open because it's something, it's the next thing that I would like to do still to increase the relationship with the clergy, but first of all I want to unlock the tradition. After all, the clergy is already at uh, zero opinion, so we already made some progresses there. Today marks the passing of our beloved king. This was quite unexpected, I was not imagining that uh, King Leod would have died uh, once he, he reached the old age, I was thinking he would have been venerable as well. And instead, no, we are already witnessing the succession and we have King Finla now, who was the spy, the, the brother of the king, uh, of the previous king. King Finland is still young, so something that I would really like to do at this point is to really make sure that uh, Finla is married so that we can have the next generation. So let's do first of all this little investigation here. Ah, and now for example we have Aragon. We have Aragon. This might be interesting because yes, they are still far away, but they are not so far away after all. And they are Catholic, they have plenty of friends, they also have unfortunately some threats, including Germany. It will not be bad uh, to be allied with Aragon, frankly speaking. So let's have an audience with King Rodrigo. A royal wedding for King Finla. On the other hand, it's also dangerous, right? Because then they might have planes on our territories. But let's see, I hope I will not regret this decision. Princess Enderquina. She's young as well. She has two of uh, stewardship and three of learning. Let's propose. We shall not agree with your proposal, as we were warned, you might have devious thoughts about claiming inheritance of our lands one day. Is it true? Uh, this is strange because uh, Rodrigo is an adult uh, and is not too old, so usually this is something that they are afraid of when they reach the old age, but this is not the case for Rodrigo. It's not true, of course, but then this means that we cannot arrange this marriage. A diplomatic message has arrived. England asks us to join their war. This is quite funny because England wants our support in attacking our own vassal which make no sense at all, but maybe this is the chance to really conquer finally, officially, entirely um, this territory, this province in Wales, rather than having them as our vassal. Because if I keep them as our vassal, they will always create some kind of attrition. This is what I believe that these provinces in Wales uh, are kind of destined to do. They are, generally speaking, a distraction. So maybe subjugating them officially rather than just having them as vassal might be preferable and this will allow me also not to piss off England but to keep good relationship because formally we are helping but what we will actually try to do is to conquer their this province before England does it okay Cardiff and England are meeting there very good and what I will do is to go straight to Cardiff and start the siege of Cardiff while our vassal is fighting England. So let's go to England. Audience, let me see it. Accept. Okay, our merchant opinion decreased, but we will manage. The English are pleased. Very good. And the poor diplomat Duenald has been captured because, of course, he was uh, having the activity. I forgot about that, that uh, I assigned him to this uh, province to improve the relationship. And so, of course, they immediately capture him. It is fine. Don't worry. Don't worry. We will deal with that. And uh, while England is going to keep their armies busy here, we will go straight to the capital, Cardiff, to siege. And then if we will be the first in um, 
completing the siege, then we will actually take control of the whole province. The same thing happened also here in the other Welsh province. Let's see what the Pope wants. Uh, they want us to lead a crusade. Wow, <laughs> not the right timing. His Holiness Pope Sergius the, the First has entrusted us with one of the most sacred deeds in the history. Decline, I'm sorry. I'm very sorry, but we are already busy and uh, our marshal has other things to do. Our ranks were reinforced by another army. We have received a diplomatic message. So, you know, this England also joined us in the siege of Cardiff. Uh, this is great. We will easily conquer Cardiff, but still, we were the first sieging the, the castle. So, in the end, once we will complete this action with the help of the English army, we will still take control of uh, this province and it will not be England having control of, uh, of this. So, very good. And in all of this, Scotland offers a trade agreement. Uh, in the past, they were asking for gold for having a trade agreement. Now, they are allowing us to have it for free. Resist Baron Duenald. We will win the siege and free you. And soon we will be able to start uh, building the siege workshop, which might help us in the future wars. Very good. In the meantime, we are decimating the armies uh, in Cardiff. As you can see, there, there is no army leader. Their morale is at minus 1.3, so they are completely getting annihilated here. Okay, and as you can see, the siege is almost uh, completed. Only 500 men are defending Cardiff at this point. And soon I will increase the crown authority that went down to minus 1, so... We need to have 1,700 units of gold. Very good. We have won a war. Sire, we conquered another province. Sire, we defeated our nobility. Stability is dangerously low in one of our provinces. Very good. Uh, we managed to complete the siege and as I was saying, basically in this way we joined England but uh, we managed to conquer the province. The same thing happened previously in the other Welsh province. Um, and in this way we now have really like the full direct control of the entire territory of Wales. Prisoners arrived. Very good. We didn't need to spend the money to free Baron Duenald because of course by winning the war we were then getting access to the people in the dungeon. We still have here a merchant. And maybe having a merchant wouldn't be too bad. I have to see exactly what has Cardiff. Cardiff has a castle, monasteries and coastal settlement. So this is commerce oriented again. I think actually I will use uh, Merchant Gorovnby uh, and so I will uh, use 200 units of gold to invite him to court. Very good. And um, as soon as we will take control of this uh, province then we will assign it to him. But first of all establish order in this province. Let's see if the marshal managed to take control of Cardiff. Unfortunately not. The population has proved to be tough. Demand uh, help with rebels. Demand help with rebels. Okay, they will help us at least. Unfortunately we are short on supplies, but maybe we can manage. Scotland offers help with our rebels. Let's accept. Let's try re-establishing order. We are very low on uh, food supply with our army. But at least we will be able to push here now the rebels. With the help of Scotland we are defeating here this rebellion. Very good. To report that the rebel scum are gone. We have driven off enemy invaders. Very good. And let's also see if uh, the marshal in Cardiff really managed to restore order. The rebellion at least has been suppressed. 
Now there is another, another <laughs> group of rebels that spawn, unfortunately. Okay, we managed to restore the order also in Cardiff, but we still have this uh, 2,500 men of rebels in, uh, in that province. And uh, yeah, we have some units of our allies converging, but maybe we should also send our army. Even though we are quite low on supplies. Let's fight them. Very good. Let's go all in. Heavily one-sided. There are a lot of rebellions in Wales. But we should be able to control them. And also what we can do in the meantime, now that we have in theory restored order in the newly acquired province, we could uh, give it to our new merchant. Very good. This is just one group of rebels, unfortunately, so we have still to travel to the northern part of Wales. Very good. It seems that we have defeated all the possible rebellion in Wales. And we have uh, two rebels that we captured. I think I will execute them both. Yes. Peasantry and the clergy opinion uh, decreased, but on the other hand we increase our crown authority. We have plus 41 of kingdom stability. We will have to work hard to restore the relationship with the clergy, but I will say that for the moment all good. We control four provinces, we have good relationship with all the neighboring rulers, in particular England and Scotland. Uh, also in, in Ireland the relationships are good, but slowly decreasing. I think that we can close the episode for today, after all we made some improvements. We still take control of uh, four provinces, except like at the, at, at the beginning of the episode. The difference is that uh, before one of the four provinces was a vassal and now it's really like uh, under our direct control. I think that between Munster and uh, Galway, probably the target for a potential 